Lethargic Sloth here, and we're going to jump right into Cyprus. Cyprus will be represented at Eurovision 2018 by Eleni Ferreira with the song Fuego. If I had to describe this song in one word, you know, it would be very easy to go with fire, but I'm going to go with pelican because I don't think I have ever heard a song in my life that references pelicans. This one does. Um, if I'm sitting here thinking off the top of my head, you know, maybe there's a song where they go pelicans fly in or something, but I can't think of that right now, uh, unless there's some obscure song out there I've never heard of. Of course, there's a lot of songs I've never heard of, so it's quite possible, but yeah, I'm going to go with pelican because I've never heard anybody put that into a song before, so... Yeah, congrats on that. Oh yeah, that picture of that pelican is actually one I took, by the way. Bragging a little bit here, I was in the Galapagos Islands, and I took a bunch of photos, so that's my pelican. It's not my fire, but that's my pelican. Yeah. No, shit, I remember. Nicki Minaj had a song that talked about pelicans. Like, my, 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 like, pelican fly, something like that. I think Super Bass was the one that... Reference pelicans. Okay, yeah, there is a song, so I guess this one loses a point for originality. Oh well. You know, I have to be completely honest. Uh, whenever I see an artist is selected for Eurovision, I like to actually go through and kind of check out some of their other music and kind of see, you know, what they sound like. And, uh, you know, one of the things I'm really excited to hear Belgium because I've checked out a lot of. Senex music, and at the same time, I was checking out uh, Cesar Sampson from Austria and Eleni Ferreira from Cyprus, and I wasn't really impressed with Eleni's music at all. Uh, it's not my type of music at all. I'm not into this kind of dance or whatever you want to call it, and so I really was thinking. Oh, this is probably going to be another one I'm not going to like very much, but I actually, I like it. So uh, this is going to be an interesting review, so stick around. I'm going to be a little different here. It's not a bad song. I was kind of expecting some feminist bullshit, to, to be honest with you, compared to some of the other songs she's done. So this one's actually quite quite nice. So, okay, I'll start the review. So what's good about the song? If you're looking for intelligent lyrics, a brilliant musical arrangement, and emotional depth, you won't find that in this song. But it is modern, catchy, and very fun at the same time. I would call this a toe-tapper even for somebody like myself who doesn't normally enjoy this type of music. I found myself toe-tapping to the beat, and I have to say I really do enjoy the beat and the change of tempo in the song. Regardless if you like, love, or hate this song, it will get stuck in your head. It is extremely memorable and will definitely stick out at Eurovision. People will like this, a lot of them I assume. I think people will vote for this. I do expect to see this song in a lot of top tens lists leading up to Eurovision from the fans. It has a lot of energy and songs like this pump up the crowd. Normally, I say this kind of song would save us from a sea of ballads, but there are so many diverse types of music this year that, well, there aren't a lot of ballads to save us from. Uh, can somebody please tell me what instrument is used in the very beginning of the song? I actually really enjoy the intro. I don't know what they're using, but it sounds very pleasant. It, it reminds me of the horn from Narnia that the satyr played. So what are some of the problem areas of the song? Well, first off, some of the lyrics are laughably bad, but in a way that they're so awful that they're likable. So overall, I enjoy them even if they don't make sense. For instance, you got me pelican fly fly flyin'. I thought that was funny, and you rarely hear pelicans referenced in songs, so good job. Uh, there's also a lot of filler lines and weird noises. 
The song has the typical pop cliches and a ton of fire cliches to boot. So if you're not a fan of these cliches, well, the song is full of them and you might not enjoy those. I thought Spanish would be far more prominent in the song, other than the fire cliches and the word fuego being mentioned in the chorus being the only Spanish in the song. Off topic here real quick, I do have to call out the song in the shameless product placements in the music video. This has nothing to do with the rating of the song, but it's kind of a pet peeve of mine. Well, no matter, I just wanted to mention it because it's something interesting about the the video itself. As far as the jury goes, this could be a song that does pretty poorly with the jury. So my fear is that it's going to do pretty well with the voting public and it's going to do pretty bad with the jury. But you never know. Sometimes the jury is favorable for different types of music. So they're looking for something that's commercial, and this could definitely be considered commercial, I guess, so maybe it's got a chance. Uh, this is not a perfect song. Actually, it's one of the most imperfect songs in the contest, but I find myself liking it more than disliking it, which is very rare for me with this genre. That being said, let's get to my personal rating. So what's my rating for this song? I feel kind of guilty almost uh, in doing this, but I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8 for right now. Part of me is like, this is way too high for this song, but part of me is like, I actually do quite like it, can, all things considered. It's probably uh, going to be considered a guilty pleasure of mine during this competition, as is, I guess, Belarus is a little bit too. I like it. I feel like I like it a lot more than I should. But I really, yeah, for what it is, I find myself enjoying it a lot more than disliking it. So, yeah, for now, I'm going to give it an 8 with the possibility to change it. I might even bump it up a little bit. You know, maybe it'll make an 8.5 by the time I listen to it more. I can't see it falling too much further than 8. I think 8's a good number for right now, considering that this is a genre I usually pretty much hate. So, <laughs> Good job. Good job, Cypress. So is this a contender or a pretender? I'm actually going to give this a contender tag. A lot of the songs I've written off as pretenders, but this one's got enough bounce and it can get in your head enough. And I think it's likable enough that it has an outside shot of winning. So I think of it more as a dark horse. Yeah, its main problem is that it's attached to Cyprus, which is, of course, a smaller country. So, uh, you know, that might be its biggest hurdle is that it's a Cyprus entry and it's not a, you know, Sweden entry. But, yeah, I think this is definitely going to go to the finals. I'm probably in my predictions. I don't see a way this probably won't qualify. If Gravity qualified last year, then, yeah, I think this is definitely going to be a qualifier. Cyprus has done really well the last couple of years in terms of qualification. So, yeah, I'm going to actually put this up there as a contender and a dark horse to mid-range contender to win the entire thing. I think it's perfectly plausible that a song like this would win the year after we have something like Salvador Sobral because this is 180, the exact opposite of Amar Pelos Tosh. So, uh... Yeah, I think this song has a really good shot to at least finish strong, possibly in the top 10. To be quite honest, Cyprus has been a country that I've really enjoyed at Eurovision uh, since 2015 when I really started paying attention to the contest. Uh, the One Thing I Should Have Done by Yanis Karayanis, I like that a lot actually. It's one of those songs I listen to a lot. Even after the fact, I know a lot of people didn't like that it qualified, but yeah, I found it really pleasant, actually. Uh, Alter Ego by Minus One in 2016 was one of my favorites that year, easily in my top ten. Uh, last year with Gravity, Hovig, I gave it a great review. I really enjoyed the song. I was surprised it qualified, actually, because of the stiff competition, but 
I like the song just fine. And yeah, this one is this one's probably my least favorite of all those entries, but it's not a huge drop off. I think if we take the average of Cyprus for me, I think Cyprus would be easily in my top ten of countries over the past four years, which I'm gonna make a video of that mathematically, showing you which countries I love the most at Eurovision over the past four years, as long as I've been doing rankings. So uh, that's going to be interesting. Of course, we have to get through all 43 songs this year, and then I'll do that video. So subscribe if you want to see that. And good luck. It's Eurovision 2018 Cyprus. Thank you for watching my review of Cyprus at Eurovision 2018. A um, little behind on the videos, not too much, just a little bit. Uh, work gets in the way. I'm a hell of a lot further along this year than I was last year, though. Last year I only had a couple videos done, and this year I think I already have 18 done, so I'm in the right direction, and I can't wait to do the prediction videos and some of the other videos I have planned, so please give me a like and a subscribe if you like what I do. I always appreciate that, and feel free to comment on how you feel about the song. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comment section below. So for now, Lethargic Sloth, out.